Welcome to Homemade. So today's recipe is a simple and easy pineapple rava kesari, an absolute medicine mouth dish. And uh, so for this, we'll just check out what are all the ingredients that are required. So here I've taken around one cup of plain rava. This is not roasted as we'll be roasting. We'll be roasting it separately. Then I've taken some uh, raisins, brown raisins and some cashews along with that two cardamom pods. And uh, for one cup of rava, we have taken around one cup of refined sugar and we'll be requiring some ghee to it, some pineapple essence since it is a pineapple kesari and some yellow food coloring as well for this recipe. So this is how your pineapple rava kesari will look. So you can see how well the texture has come out. So we'll just get started. So for this, I've added two tablespoons of ghee and we'll just allow the ghee to melt. So on the whole, we'll be using three tablespoons of ghee. And uh, next, I've added some cashews. So ensure the cashews are roasted until it is golden brown. Do not over roast it. And so once immediately you see the cashews changing the color, you can remove it out of the kadai and keep it aside. So once the cashews are done, we'll be adding the raisins also to it. So the raisins will hardly take any time to cook. So once they start blotting up, you can immediately transfer to a plate and keep it aside. So our cashews and raisins have been roasted. So we'll just keep this aside. Next, we'll be adding the rava to it and ensure that you cook the rava on absolute low flame. So cooking the rava in the ghee gives an absolute flavor for the kesari. So this step is really important and ensure you do this on low flame. So Keeping uh, the flame on low and stirring it continuously gives a perfect texture to your rava. So this will roughly take around 2 to 3 minutes. So now you, you can see the change of texture. You can remove the rava from the kadai and keep it aside. Next, we will be adding 3 cups of water of the same measuring cup. So for 1 cup of rava, it is 3 cups of water which is required. And now we'll be adding a pinch of yellow food coloring. To that, we'll be adding one tablespoon of oil. Adding oil um, balances the overall flavor of the ghee. Next, we'll add a pinch of salt. So this balances the flavor of sweetness. Now, since this is a pineapple kesari, I'm just adding one teaspoon of pineapple essence. That is more than sufficient. Do not add it extra else. It will just uh, dominate the flavor and finally I have added two cardamom pods. Just crush it and add it to the uh, water. Then we will just allow the water to boil it, boil completely. So once the water is boiled, we will just add the roasted rava to it. From now on, it is very, very essential that you keep stirring the rava continuously and you can keep the flame on medium low so that the rava gets cooked faster. So this is a consistency after a minute. So when you find uh, the rava getting thicket, keep the flame on low and stir it continuously. This whole process will take around 4 to 5 minutes. So you, you can see how the texture is turning into. So now the water completely has been evaporated and the rava is almost cooked until 80%. So now at this stage we will be adding the sugar which we have kept. So it is 1 cup of sugar. You may adjust the level of your sweetness accordingly. So now is where the whole texture starts changing. When the sugar melts in and when it starts caramelizing. So it gels into the rava and it gives an awesome texture to your kesari. So you can see how good the, you, the kesari gets a glaze once the sugar is added. So again it becomes a bit watery and again you need to stir it continuously. Stirring it continuously is very very essential in a kesari. So now uh, once the sugar has been dissolved and you can see the texture now. So how well it comes out of the pan. So this is the texture of a kesari. Now uh, finally what we do is we will just add the cashews and the raisins which we have roasted. We will just give it a mix.
this is purely optional if you want you can just add some strands of saffron this is uh, just for uh, garnish if you don't want you can just omit it now i'm just adding the last one tablespoon of ghee so adding a tablespoon of ghee actually enhances the whole flavor of the kesari towards the end so now just uh, mix this up completely so you can see how well the kesari is getting out of the pan so this is a perfect texture so you can stop the cooking now you can off the flame and you can serve it warm and uh, hope you guys enjoy this video of making the rava kesari so if you like do la comment like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also i'll be sharing my blog the link of my blog is in the description box below so you can get to know the the, the measurements and see you again with another uh, delicious recipe soon thank you